Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for those of you who were here earlier or earlier this week and welcome for the first time for those of you who are here for the first time to the Charleston County Public Library in our little portion of the Low Country Blues Bash. We are certainly glad to have you all here. Uh, this program, like all others, brought to you courtesy of the Friends of the Charleston County Public Library. Provide the funding to make these things possible. In the back, Katrina is running the Friends Tables for this show and she will have CDs and merchandising and friends information for you back there. So see her during or after the show and she's got to take care of back there. So let's bring up Gary who has recovered from his hot performance at the earlier show with the band. Uh, he's mellowed out now and he's ready to tell you all about our artist for this afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for our media coordinator, Kevin Crothers. During the Blue Stash, uh, mo most of the year, well, mo all of the, each year that's recorded, okay, we missed some years, but uh, we're recording in high depth this year. All that stuff's going to be on the internet at uh, either www.ccpl, like Charleston County uh, Public Library org slash media, or on YouTube at um, youtube.com slash ccpl media. All those shows will be on there, so you can check them out and we appreciate that. Uh, this is the 22nd annual Blues Bash, and I, I, can't, I don't even know how many times, how many years we've been doing the library. I haven't had a chance to look in the file. I might do that after Paul starts. Uh, there's gotta be at least uh, 12 that we've been in here. But anyway, this uh, is sponsored by the Friends of the Library, and we encourage you to become a, a friend of the library because your support makes these things possible. You know, once upon a time, the library was a nice place to go read a book or read the newspaper, but now it's a cultural center featuring not only uh, printed matter, but audio, visual, internet, and all sorts of uh, live music, opera, lectures, many different kinds of multimedia things. So it's a, it's a great cause. Friends of the library, go, go see our, our lady back there. Um, Blues Bash, here we are. Eight, day number eight of 14. And uh, still hanging in. <laughs> Get your Blues Bash brochure. We got them up here. I mean, back there. And uh, it gives you the whole lay of the land. Uh, schedule subject to change. Uh, we started off with 14 days, which we still have. We started off with 59 acts. We went to 60 acts. Uh, we started with 25 venues. We went to 26. We started with 100 shows. We went to 103. So. Um, email bulletins uh, every virtually every day or every other day. Go to shrimpcityslim.com and get on the email list if you would like to uh, stay posted on that stuff. <coughs> uh, Joey Gilmore is not coming in. Uh, uh, we've had to cancel him because his big gig on the Carolina Queen is going to be delayed by virtue of the fact that the Queen, which is a new riverboat in town, uh, is in dry dock for repairs, so we're not going to be able to do that show. So Joey Gilmore's slot at um, South End Brewery on Monday will be covered by Juke Joint Johnny and Bad Drew Baldwin. We're canceling the, the show on the Queen on the boat, and we're going to move all the fun over to Blind Tiger Tuesday night Mardi Gras for the uh, big finale with Shrimp City Slim and many others. If you want to find out what else is happening after the Blues Bash, this orange sheet has got a few of the events that we do throughout the state of South Carolina the rest of the year. Many of them are free, just like this, and many of them are day and night, offering a real diversity of acts in some of the more, more interesting places in South Carolina, so we urge you to get that. Then during uh, Spoleto Festival, which happens actually from uh, Memorial Day until, uh, I think it's June 12th this year, a lot of things going on. We're, do, we're staging a number of shows at Mad River Bar and Grill, 
featuring people like uh, Wanda Johnson, who many of you know, Hitman, The Blues Doctor, Drink Small, Swamp Pop, Shelley, and many more, as well as concerts on the boat, Carolina Bell. So, actually Carolina Queen, which will be ready by then. So all this is described in the literature. Please pick it up, and we thank you so much for your patience and listening to me ramble on. And thank you, sir, for listening. <laughs> well, every year we're graced by this man's presence. We stay in touch, and we're fortunate in that he likes to come down south at this time of year because he lives in New England. He's been on the scene for many, many years. He started his career really back in the 60s during the folk blues festival movement, Newport and so forth and so on, when he shared the stage with people like Book of White, Sunhouse, Howlin' Wolf, Skip James, and many more. And he truly brings an uncanny knowledge and understanding of traditional acoustic and pre-war blues and other musics uh, to the stage. Always a pleasure to have him here. Would you please welcome him? And this is a word that I don't uh, get to use too often during the Blues Bash anymore because we've lost so many great giants of the music. But I can say the legendary Paul Jeremiah. Please go ahead. In the old central 
What's the matter with your line? Hello, something. What's the matter now with your line? From the storm last night, taller wise down. probably goes back before her too. And uh Lyman and Jefferson had a version of this number. He used the he used uh, the lyrics to the song for this version of Corina Blues. Uh, but it was basically the lyrics to CC Ryder, which is what I call the song what it's mostly called.
innocently I was just wringing my hands and crying From far too late I was wringing my hands and crying I believe to my soul that your daddy's golf board bound She got with a no good bunch of clowns From far and too late She got with a no good bunch of clowns She didn't do nothing but tear her own reputation down Like a dress on some man always running through the drawers. Some women are like a dress on some man's always running through her drawers. Caught so many men to wear an apron to wall. From Memphis to Norfolk, it's a 36 hour drive. to Norfolk is a 36 hour drive I mean it's like a prisoner that is never satisfied When I leave this town baby I'm gonna bid you fair farewell When I leave this town I'm gonna bid you fair farewell when I return again, we'll have a good old story to tell. From front to me, I was wringing my hands and crying. From front to me, I was wringing my hands and crying. I believe to my soul that your daddy golf was bound. It's so much 
Ray Charles signed him to a songwriting contract, so he wrote songs for Ray Charles, which he did. He, he wrote uh, Hit the Road Jack, and uh, The Danger Zone, and Hide Your Hair, and a few others. He also wrote some other songs that Ray Charles didn't written, record. Songs like uh, The River's Invitation. I'm surprised Ray never did that one. That's a real kicker. In fact, it's one of the most depressing songs I ever heard. In fact, I got to meet uh, Percy Mayfield's widow at a party at a, Eric von Schmidt's art studio in Connecticut one night. And when I met her, I'll never forget this, I, I shook hands with her and I said, to Tina, I said, it's really nice to meet the woman who inspired some of the most depressing love songs I've ever heard. <laughs> She got a big laugh out of that, and she gave me a big kiss. And I played her this song, and she liked it. So I've been doing it ever since. It's a song of a person they feel that I first heard done by Mose Allison. And if you never heard Mose Allison, you, you, you're missing one of the most important jazz, blues. Musicians and songwriters, piano player and songwriter. The song is called Lost Mind. And Mose Allison still does this song. I recommend you go hear him do this. He still does it along with a lot of great songs that he wrote.
so kind to help me find my mind. I want to thank you in advance. Know this before we start. My soul's been torn apart. I lost my mind in a wild romance.
different medicine shows starting in the 20s and even when he sort of got away from uh, the medicine shows that was sometime in the, in the mid 50s mid to late 50s and uh, 
When I met him, he was still occasionally playing on the streets in Spartanburg, and uh, occasionally uh, doing small shows here or there. And uh, I borrowed a car, actually from my sister, and drove down there with a friend of mine. After talking to him, after after a series of trips down there, where I, where I hung out with him and we played some music and. He decided he wanted to come up and play some gigs up in the Northeast. And, uh, so I picked him up and drove him up to uh, Rhode Island where I was living then. I still live there most of the time. And, uh, he, uh, he had a good time. I learned the song from him. Um, actually, I, I would listen to his recorded stuff, which was mostly recorded by Samuel Charters. So the guy that wrote the book, The Country Blues, back in the late 50s. Anyway, uh, he, he recorded a whole lot of Pink's music and uh, most of it was uh, ragtime blues, Piedmont style music. And, uh, and this is one of the songs that was on this, on this record, too. But I thought I knew all those songs, you know, after, for, after about 10 years of listening to everything I could find by him. And, uh, and then uh, when I met him and saw the way he was playing, I realized I didn't know how to play a lot of the stuff he was doing. And, uh, but I, so I tried to rectify that situation as best I could. Anyway, this is a, this is a, a 12 string guitar adaptation of what Pink played by the name, a song he played by the name of Meet Me in the Bottom, which it does, really doesn't have any relationship to the, the version of the song by the same title that was written by Willie Dixon for Howlin' Wolf. <laughs> Come 
Thank you. 
worry about your dreams. Don't break the needle on a sewing machine. Wiggle like a muzzle, hop like a frog. Kick it in the country like a yellow dog. And I'm a yellow dog. You can kick it in the country, baby, like a yellow dog. Make it back, baby, when things are going tough. Put your hook back in the water, mama. Strut your stuff. Eat up the skillet, pop on the lid. Keep some cooking if you gotta keep it hit If you gotta keep it. Keep some cooking, baby, if you gotta keep it hit. Yeah, I don't know, but I've been told. Some people doubt about jelly roll. Better than money, better than gold, but I ain't gonna die about your sweet jelly roll, mama. I'm wild about it, but I sure ain't gonna die about it. Better than money, better than gold, ain't gonna worry my soul. Your ship is all in pieces and you're stranded on the rocks. Put them all together, find someone to make a hand. Fall in love and if it dies, you start over again. It's start. Fall in love and if it dies, baby, you can start again. Tell that ticket as you leave this window down. Things are still cooking, I ain't leaving town. I ain't leaving town. Things are still cooking, I ain't leaving town. And make it back a baby when there's nothing left to lose, nothing going right and something else to choose. Bounce back, baby, when you're on your hands and knees and hear something calling you, stomping up the breeze. Would listen to the breeze. Hear something calling you, baby, stomping up the breeze. Some people died about it Better than money, better than gold But I ain't gonna do without it I'm talking about your stuff, baby Keep it in the country Down there like a yellow dog ever in Savannah, Georgia, there was an ice storm going on. And boy, I tell you, those trees look weird. Those, spin, spin, those live oak trees with all that thick Spanish moss hanging off them. Look, it looked like a, a glass menagerie or something like this. Everything was covered with ice. People were not in a good mood. <laughs> <laughs> but 
But this is Blind Willie Mantell number. It's one of my favorite ones of his. It's called Savannah Mama. Uh, this is sort of a, a 
secularization of an old uh, sanctified kind of a theme. The song is, I call it, uh, Something's Gotta Be Arranged. <laughs> Yeah. 